Hey guys, so now you know the exercise that you need to do. Now, I know that you know that you need to set goals, right? Because if you have no goals, then you're like, what am I doing? Where am I going? What's going to happen? Uh, do I need to do that? Nah. So if you don't have goals, you're more likely to fail. But listen to me. Here is an idea that there are two types of goals. So you might have heard the goals have to be smart, um, specific, measurable, blah, 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 all of that. And uh, that will work actually. But uh, my idea is this, if it hasn't worked for you, it will not work for you. So like, just let's be honest. Um, those kinds of goals usually don't work in the modern world because what happened is this those goals were created in a different world let's call it pre-internet era where uh, information was i would say scarce um, this type of thinking worked very well when let's say in 1960s let's imagine arnold schwarzenegger uh, what kind of information did he have? He had guys in the gym, he had maybe magazine, one or two, that's it. That's all he had. And so he had to go find a book, read the book, follow the book. What we have now in the modern world is you go into Google immediately, like three seconds after you search, you get at least 10 results. So like Google has 10 results, right? And those are just top 10. And after that, there are millions and millions and millions. And so what happens is that we are faced with a lot of information. And uh, the truth is, uh, if you try to digest all of that information, you will get lost. So let's say 1950s, you were like, oh, I want to lose weight. How do I do that? You go to a library, you find a book, you read the book, you follow it. Simple. Uh, now, I want to lose weight. You type in the Google, boom, videos, articles, so much stuff. And you're like, oh my God, which should I follow? And so this is analysis paralysis. You basically become paralyzed from the abundance of information. And so here is how to deal with it. Uh, you don't set goals for the um, result. So basically the approach here is this. Uh, every program, every, I don't know, like system, weight loss and fitness system, where they will say, oh, if you do this, you will get to this result. Uh, what you need to do is you have to switch your thinking. You have to switch your thinking into thinking about process goals. So process goals are uh, basically sound like this. I will do this for this long or I will do this every day. And so if you did something on that day, mission accomplished, you're done. Good job. If you haven't achieved, if you haven't done that in a day, bad job, you didn't do it well. So this is very different from setting uh, result goals. So they say, oh, I want to do 30 pull-ups. Okay, how? Every day that you don't do 30 pull-ups, you are failing. Like today I did 15. Oh, well, it's better than yesterday, but it's not 30. So you fail. And then the next day you do 15 again. Oh my God. You know, you fail again. And then the next day, maybe you are tired. Maybe you didn't sleep well and you do 14, boom, you're destroyed because like now you're going backwards and you feel depressed. And what happens when you feel depressed? You don't want to do that. And so here is my suggestion to you. Whenever you start a fitness exercise, plan to keep doing it. Don't plan to achieve some result and then, oh yeah, I'm done, now it's over. No, you, your goal has to be do it every day. Your goal has to be keep doing it and don't give up. 
So, like a good analogy would be this. In the world, in the classical world, when you have one book and you have no other options to deviate from, <laughs> so that you have just one book, it tells you do this. And uh, you do that. So simple. Because you have no options. Now you have so many options. So the world has changed. Your approach has to change. Imagine if you put the best hunter-gatherer uh, from, let's say, prehistoric era into the modern world. What will he hunt? What will he gather? Put that person in the city. What they will hunt? They will hunt like pigeons and rats and cats and dogs. And <laughs> they will be probably caught quickly by the owners of the cats and dogs. And uh, what they will gather, they will gather some garbage. So the thing is this, the world has changed. You need to change your approach. And uh, when you change your approach, you choose one goal, which is to keep doing whatever you want to do. And again, whatever you do has to be simple it, you can't think about it every day it has to be oh i know what to do this is this that that, that. boom done good job me next day will be better so guys i hope this helps focus on, on process forget about the results see you in the next video